The Yarsan or Ahil Haq Kurdish, Yarsan Yarsan, Persian, al people of truth, is a syncretic religion founded by Sultan Sahak in the late 14th century in western Iran. The total number of Yarzanis estimated at around 2 million or 3 million. Primarily found in western Iran and eastern Iraq, mostly ethnic Goran Kurds, though there are also smaller groups of Turk, Persian, Lori, Azerbaijani and Arab adherents. Some Yarzanis in Iraq are called Kakai. Yarzanis are also found in some rural communities in southeastern Turkey. Yarzanis say that some people call them disparagingly as Ali o Alahi or worshippers of Ali, which labels Yarzanis deny. Many Yarzanis hide their religion due to pressure of Iran's Islamic system, and there are no exact statistics of their population. The Yarzanis have a distinct religious literature primarily written in the Gharani language, which also is known as Harami dialects. However, few modern Yarzani can read or write Gharani, a northwestern Iranian language belonging to the branch Zaza Gharani, as their mother tongues are Southern Kurdish and Sarani Kurdish, which belong to the other two branches of the Kurdish language family. The speakers of Sarli, living near Eski Kalak, are adherents, as Edmonds 1957 surmised and Musa 1988 observed. Their central religious book is called the Kalam e Saranjam, written in the 15th century based on the teachings of Sultan Sahak. The goal of Yarsanism is to teach humans to achieve ultimate truth. The Yarzani believe sun and fire are holy things and follow the principles of equalization, purity, righteousness, and oneness, which leads some researchers to find Mithraic roots in this religion. Yarsanism is barely mentioned in historical religious books as its doctrine and rituals are largely secret. The followers of Yarsanism perform their rituals and ceremonies in secret, but this has not relieved the harassment of many of the Yarzani by Islamic or other governments over the centuries. The followers of this religion say that after the Islamic Revolution in Iran, pressure on the Yarzani community has increased and they have been deprived and discriminated against for over 30 years. One of the signs of Yarshanic males is an intact mustache, as the Yarshanic holy book Kalam e Saranjam says that every man must have a mustache to take part in Yarshanic religious rites. <laughs> Beliefs The Yarzani follow the mystical teachings of Sultan Sahak. From the Yarzani point of view, the universe is composed of two distinct yet interrelated worlds, the internal Batini and the external Zahiri, each having its own order and rules. Although humans are only aware of the outer world, their lives are governed according to the rules of the inner world. This aspect of the Yarzani faith can be identified as Kurdish esoterism which emerged under the intense influence of Batini Sufism during the last two centuries. Among other important pillars of their belief system are that the divine essence has successive manifestations in human form and the belief in transmigration of the soul in Kurdish. Yarasani believe that every man needs to do what is written within their holy book, the Kalam e Saranjam, otherwise they are not part of Yarsan. There is no compulsion or exclusion in Yarsan, anyone who chooses to follow its precepts is welcome. The Yarzani faith's features include millinerism, inatism, egalitarianism, metonpsychosis, angelology, divine manifestation and dualism. Many of these features are found in Yazidism, and they also have many things in common with Zoroastrians and Christians. Unlike other indigenous Persian faiths, the Yarsanism explicitly reject class, caste and rank, which sets them apart from the Yazidis and Zoroastrians. Topic. Epics of evolution. According to Yarzani philosophy, the universe is evolving in through different epochs and that these epochs are 1. First epoch, or Shariat, which includes the period from Adam and Eve until Muhammad, also known as the Prophet period. Point 2. Second epoch, or Tariqat, which includes the period from Ali ibn Abi Talib until Shah Koshin, also known as the Doctrine period. Point 3. Third epoch, or Marifat, which includes the period from Shah Koshin until Sultan Sahak, also known as the mystical period. Point four. Fourth epoch, or Hakikat, which includes the period from Sultan Sahak until today, also known as the truth period. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Divine manifestations. The Yarzani are emanationists and incarnationists, believing that the divine essence has successive incarnations known as Mazariats similar to the Hindu avatars. 
They believe God manifests one primary and seven secondary manifestations in each epoch of the world, in either angel or human form. These seven persons are known as half tan, which means the seven persons. The primary Mazariat of the first epoch was the divine essence known as Kawandagar, who created the world. The primary Mazariat of the second epoch was Ali ibn Abi Talib, the fourth caliph and first imam of Shia Islam. This explains the alternative name for Yarzani's Ali Alahi, believers in the divinity of Ali. The primary Mazariat of the third epoch was Shah Koshan. In the fourth epoch, the primary Mazariat is held to be Sultan Sahak. It is said that he was given birth by Dayarik Rezbar or Cotton e Rezbar, a Kurdish virgin, and as in the case of Mary, it was a virginal conception. While sleeping under a pomegranate tree a kernel of fruit fell into her mouth when a bird pecked the fruit directly over her. According to Yarzani legend after Sultan Sahak had completed the revelation of his esoteric teachings to his first disciples among the Guran he took his leave of them. Disappearing from the Guran country without a trace, he reappeared in Anatolia in the form of Haji Bektash Veli. He taught mystical doctrines and techniques in those lands for almost a hundred years, and then returned to the Guran country. In the perception of his disciples there, he had been away for only an hour. Topic. Half tan or seven persons Each epoch in Yarzani belief saw the appearance of the seven secondary divine manifestations or half tan. In the first epoch they appeared in their true angelic form, while in subsequent epochs they appeared in human incarnations. The half tan are charged with responsibility for the affairs of the internal realm. The secondary Mazariats of the first epoch include the archangels Gabriel, Michael, Israfil, and Azrael, and a female angelic being. The Mazariats of the second epoch include Salman, Kanbar, Muhammad, Nusair who is either Jesus Christ or Theophobus and Balul. It also includes Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad as the incarnation of the female angel. The Mazariats of the third epoch include Shah Fazlullah Veli, Baba Sarhang Dudani and Baba Naous. In the fourth epoch, the half tan or seven persons charged by Sultan Sahak with responsibility for the affairs of the inner realm consist of the following, the half tan, the seven archangels are key figures in the Yarzani belief system and their history. The only female among them is Cotton e Rezbar, the mother of Sultan Sahak. Pir Benjamin, considered the incarnation of the archangel Gabriel, and he has the preceptor title to all Yarzanis Monday. Pir Musi, the incarnation of the Archangel Michael and known as Recording Angel Tuesday. Mustafa Dawan, the incarnation of Archangel Azrael Wednesday. Sultan Sahak, the incarnation of Divine Essence Thursday. Baba Yadigar, also known as Ahmad and Reza Friday. Cotton E Razbar, Saturday. Dawud Kazwar David, notice slang called D A O O. He is known as Dalil. In Kurdish language to all Yarzani's Sunday, these seven persons are known as half tan, which means by word, the seven persons. Topic: <laughs> Transmigration of the soul. Yarzani's also have a belief in transmigration of the soul, Dunaduni in Kurdish. The Yarzani have a famous saying about death: Men do not fear the punishment of death. The death of man is like the dive which the duck makes. Human beings go through a cycle of 1001 incarnations. During this process, they may become more purified based on their actions. This process is confined however, only to Yarzanis, the Zarda gel or people created of yellow clay. Everyone else belongs to the Kak e Saya or people created of black earth, and are eternally damned. Topic. Holy texts. The traditions of the Yarzani are preserved in poetry known as Kalam e Saranjam, the discourse of conclusion, divinely revealed narratives passed down orally through the generations. These traditions are said to have been written down by Pir Musi, one of the seven companions of Sultan Sahak, also the angel in charge of recording human deeds. The collection consists of the epics of Kawandagar, God, Ali, Shah Koshan, and Sultan Sahak, the different manifestations of divinity. 
The Epic of Shah Koshin takes place in Luristan and the Epic of Sultan Sahak is placed in Haraman near the Sirwan River, the land of the Gurani. Also important to the Gurani is the Daftar e Khazana ye Perdivari, Book of the Treasure of Perdivar, a collection of 26 mythological poems or kalams. The sayings attributed to Sultan Sahak are written in Gurani Kurdish, the sacred language of the Al e Haq, which also is known as Harami dialects. However, few modern Yarzani can read or write Gurani, a northwestern Iranian language belonging to the branch Zaza Gurani, as their mother tongues are Southern Kurdish and Sarani Kurdish, which belong to the other two branches of the Kurdish language family. Some Yarzani literature is written in the Persian language. Topic: <laughs> Worship. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Holy sites. Two important sanctuaries of the Yarzani are the tomb of Baba Yadgar about 40 km away from sarpol e zahab in Kermanshah province and the tomb of Dawoud at Zard about 3 km east of sarpol e zahab Another important shrine is that of Sultan Suhak in Shaykhan near Perdivar Bridge in Kermanshah province. The tombs of Pir Benjamin and Pir Musi in the town of Karend in Kermanshah province, Iran are also important shrines. Topic. Customs One of Yarzani men's apparent signs is to have a full mustache, because in the holy book Kalam-e-Saranjam it says that every man has to have a mustache to take part in their religious rites. The concourse of Yarzanis is called the Jam Khana. They gather there for all e hak jam similar to jam in Alevism and they use tambour for meditation. Topic. Organization. Khandans or spiritual houses Yarsanism is organized into spiritual houses or khandans, seven of which were established at the time of Sultan Sahak, and four afterwards, making eleven khandans in all. The khandans were established when, along with the half tan, Sultan Sahak also formed the half tawani, a group of seven holy persons charged with the affairs of the outer world. They were Sayyid Muhammad, Sayyid Abul Wafa, Haji Babuzi, Mir Sir, Sayyid Mustafa, Sheikh Shahab al-Din and Sheikh Habib Shah. Each of the Haft Tawani was charged with responsibility for the guidance of a number of followers, and these followers formed the original seven Khandans, namely Shah Ibrahim, Baba Yadigar, Ali Kualandar, Kamish, Mir Sir, Sayyid Masafa and Haji Babu Isa. After Sultan Sahak's time another four Khandans were established, namely Atesh Bag, Baba Haider, Zulnur and Shah Hayaz. Every Yarzani therefore belongs to one specific Khandan, which is led by a spiritual leader called a Sayyid, to whom each member must swear obedience. The Sayyid is the spiritual leader of the community and is normally present during the ceremonies attended by the followers. Sayyids are the only ones allowed to have full access to the religious texts of Yarsanism, and have traditionally competed with each other to have the largest number of followers. The position of Sayyid is hereditary, being passed down through the generations from the original founders. As the Sayyid are considered spiritual parents, it is the tradition for them not to marry their followers. <laughs> Demographics The majority of Yarzanis are found in the Kurdish areas of Iran and Iraq, especially in Haraman and the Kermanshah province of Iran. In Iran The Yarzani in Iran are mostly found in Loristan and Kermanshah provinces There are also large communities of Yarzanis in some regions of Iranian Azerbaijan. The town of Ilkichi which is located 87 km southwest of Tabriz is almost entirely populated by Yarzanis. For political reasons, one of which was to create a distinct identity for these communities, they have not been called Goran Kurds since the early 20th century. They are called various names, such as Ali Alais and al Ihak. Both the Dursim Zazaki, Zaza people and the Gurani, who speak a language that is considered to belong to the Horamani branch of the northwest Iranian languages, adhere to a form of Kurdish Alawi faith which resembles the religions of the Yazidi, Ali Alayans or Druze. In Iraq The Yarzani are known in Iraq as the Kakai. There are Yarzani in Iraqi Kurdistan, around Kirkuk and Sulaymaniyah. 
The speakers of Sarli, living near Eski Kalak in Iraq, are adherents, as Edmonds surmised and Musa observed. In Turkey Yarzandis are also found in some rural communities in southeastern Turkey. Topic: <inaudible> Relationship with other religious groups. A group of native, allegedly Iranian, but archaeologically Mesopotamian, monotheistic religions practiced by Kurds consisting of Yarzani and Ezidi, along with Chinarism, Ishakism, Ishak Alevism, are claimed as Yazdanism. By Merdad Izidi, an excerpt from the French Review of the Muslim World describes the difficulty in nomenclature for Yarsanism and related Shiite mysticism. The English translation reads, First of all, we must clear up the confusion resulting from the variety of names given to the sect of Allah Haq, which are liable to be misunderstood. Like any religion, the one we are dealing with considers itself to be the only true and orthodox one, and it is natural that its adherents give themselves the name of People of Truth. Ale Hak or Ale Hakikat. This term lacks precision, as other sects, for example the Horufus, occasionally apply it to themselves. Still, the name Ale Hak to refer to the sect of our particular interest has every advantage over appellations such as Golat, Ali Alahi, and Nozairi that the Muslims and most European travelers use in speaking of them. The first term, which encompasses all of the extremist Shiites, is too broad and too vague. The second term, deifiers of Ali, has the same fault and emphasizes what is only a detail in the religious system under discussion. Finally, the name, Nozairi, belongs to that well-defined Syrian religion, which, despite some resemblances with the doctrines of the Alay Haq the worship of Ali, the communion, etc., appears to present a complex of quite different old beliefs. Topic. Relations with Islam Al e Haq view Islam as a product of a cycle of divine essence, which was made manifest in Ali, and established the stage of shayat Islamic law. This was followed by the cycle of Tariqat Sufi teachings, then Marifat Sufi Nasis, and finally the current cycle of Hakikat ultimate truth, which was made manifest in Sultan Sahak. The final stage supersedes the previous ones, which frees al e Haq from observing the Sharia rules incumbent on Muslims. Al I Haq class other Muslims as either Al I Tashayu followers of Shiism or Al I Tasanan followers of Sunnism. The Al I Haq neither observe Muslim rites such as daily prayers and fasting during the month of Ramadan, nor share Islamic theology and sacred space such as belief in the day of resurrection and sanctity of the mosque. Extremist Sunni Islamic groups such as the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant and Al Qaeda regard the followers of Yarsanism as unbelievers who have to convert to Islam or die. These militants have prosecuted Yarzanis during the Iraq conflict, possibly prompting some Iraqi Yarsan community leaders to declare in 2013 that their people were actually Muslims to avoid sectarian attacks. See also Ali Ilahism Goran Kurds Mithraism References Topic. External links Ali Alais Al e Haq, an Oriental Order of Mysticism. Ostad Elahi, Nur Ali Elahi official website. Razbar Ensemble, Sacred Music of Al e Haq. Ali Alai and Al e Haq. Who are Iraq's Kakai? All Monitor, The Pulse of the Middle East. Status of Minorities in Iran, excerpted from Report on Iran, 16 January 2002, by the UNCHR. Gharani influence on Central Kurdish, substratum or prestige borrowing. Liesenberg, McKeel, ILLC, Department of Philosophy, University of Amsterdam. The Shabak and the Kakais in Northern Iraq, syncretistic religious communities in the Near East, collected papers of the International Symposium. Alevism in Turkey and comparable syncretistic religious communities in the Near East in the past and present. 
Berlin, 14 to 17 April 1995. Christina Kell Bodrogi, Barbara Kellner Heinkele, Anka Otter Bojin, Christina Kell Bodrogi, Barbara. Liesenberg, Mikiel, ILLC, Department of Humanities, University of Amsterdam. <laughs>